Hi guys, welcome to another video. This week we're going to show some of our short arc testing we've been doing. Sorry about the spear line position on the spear we were going to do. Hopefully we can get that one out for next week. But this is just a typical day where we're testing new product. Some of you had noticed we had a three rubber muzzle in some of our recent videos. And this is just another one of those days where we're testing them in a real scenario, swimming through the shore, making sure that it's, it's still functional from that aspect, not too difficult to load. This is a typical north of Durban, north coast type conditions. Uh, we had heard in the morning the conditions were reasonable. By the time the guys got there, they weren't that great, but still a good test in any event. This is our typical open coast shore dive where you have to literally swim through the surf. Uh, it can be quite dangerous, quite intimidating. If you know the area, you can get familiar with where to come in and where not to. There's obviously plenty of rocks that you've got to be aware of. And this is just your typical shore dive. As you can see, this is just on backline, very shallow, very churning, and uh, can stir the sand up. Visibility can be poor, but quite often just behind all of that, you do get clearer water. And this is where some of our inshore fish travel. Loading this three rubber muzzle is the same as a double rubber muzzle. You load the furthest away rubber first, pulling it through the other two and load it to the notch furthest away from you. The second rubber, exactly the same as a double rubber, pull that through the top rubber, load to the middle notch and the last rubber has to go on the last notch. As you can see, when all three are next to each other, they're now all parallel with each other, much lower profile. It's not a big deal if they get twisted, it just creates a larger profile and makes the gun that little bit more difficult to maneuver. How's my GoPro looking? Um, it should be attached to my mask, it's fogging up. You want some spray? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, as you can see, any new mask can fog up, even if you've sprayed it on the beach. It's a good idea to carry a small spray bottle with you, anti-fog, and uh, use it out at sea. Not difficult at all. Carry it in your crayfish bag or in a small capsule. On this day, very little fish around. There was a few small mullet. So just to test accuracy and good eating fish to take home, we fired the gun. As you can see, small fish spear easily go straight through it. But accuracy was proven. Everything worked well. No foul ups. I would have preferred the guys pull the shooting line out from under the bands so they 
don't potentially cause a muzzle wrap. This is one of the ways to prevent muzzle wraps. Keep those shooting lines out from under the rubbers on a standard gun. Rollers are a little different. You have to actually keep the shooting line in between the band. There were a few crayfish around, not many. The guys had a chance to take this one. Uh, it was size, it is open season, so we are allowed to take them as long as they size and not in berry. So this is just a typical shore dive, very close inshore, no long distance swimming. If there's a strong current, it obviously can be quite tiresome. Be careful of your energy levels. Don't swim hard against currents for hours on end. This can become detrimental when you're trying to come back in where you do need to have some power to get through the surf zone. I hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.